Hello viewers, I've noticed that some people in the forums have been having trouble installing CMOD. It's an amazing mod by Player2K up here, where it adds something ridiculous like a hundred items to the game and gameplay changes and... Anyway, what you want to do first is find your Terraria Player and Worlds folder, which is usually under whatever your system drive is, users, username, my documents, my games, Terraria. This is under Windows 7, Vista's probably the same. XP, there's some issues where it probably won't run anyway, so I won't go into that. What you want to do is make a new folder. Pretty much just copy these five into it. This may not be necessary with the new um, Release 2 that is made, as Release 2 actually makes these new folders, so the chance of corruption is probably much less, but I'd do it anyway. You don't want to lose everything. Okay, once that's done, you can either head to his page and find his posts to find the mods, or the links are down below. What you want to go to is actually not download CMOD yet, but download Terraria Game Launcher, which is what you use to run pretty much any mod. He's, he's made a way to launch different mods from one launcher, which, yeah. Anyway, here, here are the links, just either one, same thing. And where you want to download it to is a different folder under Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Terraria. Just download it to here and then head to his CMOD page, which is also down below. You can download Release 1 on page 1, the opening post, or if you head to page 7, he has an update, but it's really up to you. He's fixed a lot of things, but the double jump is no longer working. But on the upside, the multiplayer is. You just have to run a server.x and then connect to it. You can't host and run at the moment. But yeah, I downloaded Release 2. So download that, download that to the same folder. And then using WinRAR or 7-zip, whatever you like to use, just extract the game launcher and run game launcher installer as admin, unless you already are. That'll run, it may say did not install correctly, it has, as long as you ran as administrator. Then what you want to do is run Terraria. This won't be here for you, but it'll give you the option of running Terraria normally and nothing else because you don't have any mods installed. You close that down, you'll extract CMOD release 2 or CMOD release, whatever the other file's called, and just run CMOD install. What that'll do is create all the folders you need and all the files, and the next time you run Terraria... Oh, also, definitely make sure you run as administrator, it will not work if you don't. So hit up Terraria. And you'll notice you have two options now. So to run CMOD, unless your order's the other way around, just press 1, enter. Sit back while it loads. And here we are, CMOD release 2 is installed and working. Create character. Hunger, yep, whatever. Create a world. Let's just go. Wait, let's not go large. I'm not even going to use it. And everything should work. Because there's. Some people were having problems with creating characters with this mod. But it actually comes with the GLI fix now, so there shouldn't be any issues. If you do have any, just hit, send me a comment over YouTube or send one to Player2K if I can't figure it out. Everything's working. The hold styles. 
Okay, I'll see you next time, viewers. Stream, stream Av. Uh, stream Av, signing off.